Hey everyone, Technoman here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone and iPad if they're not syncing. You might be not getting either the messages, contacts, maybe your mail, your apps, anything that's not syncing. You want to follow these steps to make sure that your iPad and your iPhone is syncing. So let's get started. So the very first thing, whenever you check this, is make sure that both of your devices are using the same Apple ID account. The way that the syncing happens is that the Apple ID has to be the same on both devices. So if you're using a different ID, the sync process will not work because it has to sync through the iCloud itself. Along with that is you want to go ahead and click on your iCloud account here. Click on iCloud and then apps using iCloud. You want to show all and then verify that whatever apps and data that you want to sync is turned on. Just like that. As you can see, all of these are turned on. Same thing on your iPad. Go into your settings. Click on your Apple ID. Click on iCloud and then apps using iCloud show all. And we're gonna verify that every single thing that we want to sync between our iPhone and iPad is turned on. So if for some reason, let's say your contacts are missing, right? And you're not getting it on one device and you have it on another, you need to ensure that it is turned on just like that. And same with photos, even messages if you want that. Basically anything that's not syncing, just verify that is and it should work for you. Now after doing that, the next thing you wanna do is ensure that Again, for the sync to happen is that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Sometimes cellular data might not work great for syncing, so use uh, Wi-Fi if you can. You can check here, connected to the same Wi-Fi works the best. It doesn't have to be the same Wi-Fi, but usually it works the best when you're using the same Wi-Fi network. Now, another thing to do if you're still having an issue is checking the date and time are correct on both devices. So you wanna have the same exact time and date. In order to check that, it's gonna be in your settings. You're gonna go to general, right here where it says date and time. Make sure that this time also matches your iPad and they're set automatically. You can always manually set it as well if it's not correctly, but ideally they should be, again, set automatically. Same exact thing on your iPad, go to settings, general, same exact process, date and time. Again, make sure the time zone also matches up. If it doesn't match up or it doesn't pick it up, you can manually set it. For example, if that one's in New York, right? I wanna make sure uh, this one is set in New York as well. So this will help. So if you're having any issues with your device, it will fix it for you. So let's go ahead and check this one. Just like that. And you can manually update it as well. But like I said, it should be automatic. Shouldn't have to do this, but verify it is correct. Now, moving on to the next thing you want to do is going to be around your account. So if you're missing or the mails and your accounts aren't syncing, with your uh, phone, you need to verify under your settings here. Go to uh, either your, let's go ahead into our mail app, and then same exact thing on our iPad. We're gonna go in settings, click on mail, and then verify. As you can see here under accounts, when I click on it, I have one account here, I have two here, so that didn't sync. So you'll need to go ahead and click on add account and then add that account to the device. So for some reason, Mail apps usually don't sync over. Sometimes whenever you add one to your iPhone or your iPad, it doesn't sync over, so you'll have to add it on both devices manually. Now, another thing to also check out is that if you want apps to be, again, whatever apps you download on your iPhone to appear on your iPad, this is optional. You can turn this setting on by going to your settings, and then you wanna go to, we're gonna go over to iTunes here, so let's go ahead and to, App Store and iTunes, so click on App Store. And this process, as you can see here, we have, we need to turn on automatic app downloads here. So that whatever you purchase here on this device will also appear on it. And you can verify that on the App Store here. Make sure for this one, same exact thing, we wanna turn this on. So that way, whenever you purchase an app or download and install app on one device, it'll also appear. Again, this is totally optional for app downloads only. Now, if you're still having an issue with this, uh, let's say maybe you're having issues with the photos here. If you're having photos issues, one of the things to notice with photos when it comes to syncing between both devices that they have to be at least 20% or more charged. So if you don't have enough charge, you need to charge your phone because photo syncing does take a little bit of while, it's not gonna appear right away, so you're gonna have to give yourself some time and make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi as well. Now finally, if you're still not seeing the sync happening, you need to force restart both devices. So on your iPhone, you're gonna 
press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. And we're going to wait for the screen to go completely black here. And this method will not delete any of your data. All it's doing is basically shutting down the phone and then reloading the code. And once you see Apple, you let go of that side button. And you might have to do it a few times to get the hang of it. Remember, it's just volume up, volume down, and then you hold on to that uh, side button until it goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Now, same exact process we want to do on our iPad as well. We need to do a force restart. So once the phone is turned back on, we'll do the same thing. Locate the volume up and down button first. So I'm going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then I hold on to this lock or the touch ID button. And we're going to wait for the, again, same thing, screen to go completely black on our iPad before we let go of that top, top button here. And we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear, and I let go of it. And sometimes if you have a Air or another model iPad or the Pro, it might be on your right-hand side, the volume up and down. So just press the volume up, volume down before holding on to that touch ID or the lock button. And once you do this between both of your devices, again, give it a little bit of time. Make sure you're connected to the internet and the sync process should happen and you should be able to sync with your iPhone and your iPad. That's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.